Whether you're looking for something sweet for the big game or a sweet treat for your sweetie, I've got a great cookie recipe. Now, I know many of you probably think you have the best chocolate chip cookie recipe in the world. Let me relieve you of that notion. I happen to have the best chocolate chip cookie recipe in the world. In fact, these are oversized, big as your head, David's Chocolate Chunk cookies, and they're super easy to make. Now we're gonna begin with a stand mixer, and we're gonna cream our butter and sugars and vanilla together. So let's get our room temperature butter into the mixer. And then we're going to add in some light brown sugar, some granulated sugar, and some really good vanilla. Now let's raise the bowl. Get this on a low speed and let that begin to cream. It'll take about two to three minutes for this all to cream together. And once it starts to get fluffy and striated, we're going to add in our dry ingredients and then the great big chunky chocolate pieces. So our butter, sugars, and vanilla have creamed beautifully. Now let's add in one whole egg and we'll let that begin to blend into the sugar mixture, and then we're going to work with our dry. Now, you're gonna to need to do a little bit of work in advance to whisk all your dry ingredients together. Now, in this bowl, I have all-purpose flour, baking soda, baking powder, and a little salt. Whisk that all together, and we're going to add that to the butter and egg mixture, but do it very slowly. Also, if your stand mixer has a flex edge beater, you definitely wanna use it for this recipe because it'll help scrape the sides of the bowl as it mixes up the cookie dough. So what we're gonna do is add in our dry, but do it very, very slowly. So let me just get this ready to go in, little bits at a time. And if you need to stop periodically and scrape the side, we'll do that. Okay, this is all ready to go. Now we need to lower the bowl Get the paddle out, remove the bowl, and we're gonna add in the big chunky chocolate pieces. All right, here we go. Let's lower this down. We're going to remove our flex hedge beater, making sure that we have saved all that delicious cookie dough. And then I'm gonna come around front and snap this up and out. Let me show you that the cookie dough is now beautifully mixed together. And what we're going to do is take America's favorite chocolate bar, and you're gonna rough chop this into great big chunky pieces. And we're not using the stand mixer anymore. You're now gonna use a spatula and fold in these pieces. If it looks like a lot of chocolate, well, that's by design. These are David's Oversized Chocolate Chunk Cookies, and they're full of delicious milk chocolate. So what we're gonna do is add about half of this in, and then I'll start to fold it together, and then we'll get the rest of it in, and then we're gonna use a scoop to get these onto our parchment line baking pan. Let's get the rest in here. Don't get nervous. It'll look like a lot of chocolate, but you want that because these are going to be delicious cookies and they're gonna be so chocolatey and gooey and ooey. The best chocolate chip cookie in the world. Now, I have long told you that one of the best tools that you can have in your kitchen is a set of scoops. And we have chosen a quarter cup scoop. Now what you're going to do is use your scoop and you're going to scoop out quarter cup balls of cookie dough. So I've got my quarter cup scoop and I'm going to scoop out balls of cookie dough. And you're going to get these onto your cookie sheet but do not flatten them. And they need to be about two and a half inches apart. You only get about five scoops per baking pan. Now, once you have these on the baking sheet, here's an unexpected step. We wanna take these and get them into the refrigerator for about 10 minutes before baking. So I've just retrieved my pan from the refrigerator and these are ready to go into a 350 oven for about 16 to 18 minutes. Oh, and here's a little baking tip. When you're baking cookies about halfway through the baking time, open the oven and spin the pan around. That'll make sure that all your cookies bake and brown beautifully and evenly. It smells like a cookie bakery in here. It's time to get these from the oven. Oh, they smell great. They look wonderful. They're enormous and they're loaded with chocolate chunks. Let's get these out of the oven. Now, ordinarily, I would tell you to let these cool, but I just want you to see what's happening on the inside. Look at all that gooey, ooey, delicious chocolate. Now all I need is a glass of cold milk for dunking. Who am I kidding? I'm just gonna go ahead and have a bite right now. Ooh. <laughs> sweet treats for all the sweet people out there. Enjoy. Oh.